Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make some hamburger helper. Uh, that will be baked hamburger helper. So I already cooked my ground beef earlier. Of course, milk, the noodles, paprika, parsley, fresh onions, and garlic. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna remove these guys. Okay, in my pot I put a one tablespoon of uh, cooking oil. Okay, it's a vegetable oil. So I'm gonna drop the garlic and the um, fresh onions. Okay, so we're gonna saute this for a minute. Then we will add the ground beef. This is a two pounds ground beef, guys. Okay. The reason I cook my ground beef because that way I kind of removing some of the uh, fat from the ground beef. However, if you don't want to do it that way, it's perfectly fine. Just cook your ground beef with other ingredients, so no biggie on that. But I prefer that way my um, how I prepared my meat. Okay, so we're going to continue, um, so do this for two minutes. So we're going to add some salt. Be careful with your salt because you remember the cheese kind of salty a little bit, so be careful with that. Then I'm going to add some black pepper. Then I'm going to add some paprika, oh a teaspoon of paprika, then a teaspoon of parsley, okay, then I'm going to put four cups of milk, regular milk. Then we will add two cups of elbow macaroni noodle. We're gonna cook this for um, 10 minutes, okay? Because we are going to bake this, but I will explain as we go why. So we're gonna cover this. If it's kind of a little bit thicker, guys, free to add some more milk. You don't want your macaroni and cheese, or not macaroni and cheese, let me refresh that, hamburger helper to be dry, okay? So, because we didn't cook our noodles, there will be, the, the, the noodles will be observing all of that juice. Because remember, we didn't cook the noodles. When the when the um, they start boiling, adjust your temperature. Make sure that um, you're not burning the bottom of your pot. So from high heat to medium heat. Okay. You look a lot of juice, but this juice will be uh, gone. Not completely gone, but uh, it will be observed to observed to the noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this again, guys. Okay, so we're gonna cook this another eight more minutes. Okay. 
we're going to taste it. Need more salt. It's really important that when you know some people cook, they don't taste their food. I prefer to taste my food because I make sure that the seasoning will balance. We're going to continue cooking this, guys. But I like to um, stirring it, make sure that they are not sticking the bottom of my pot. Okay. So I'm going to close this again. As you can see, it's getting thicker. So I'm going to see if the noodles it's cooked, but not completely. Like I'm, I'm looking for half cooked, guys. Because remember, we're going to bake this. Okay. I'm going to see. Almost just a little bit, like maybe a minute. But I'm gonna turn off my um, heat. But continue cooking because the burner is still hot. So I'm going to turn this off. I think I'm going to add a cup of milk, guys. Because the, uh, the noodle is still kind of a little bit hard. So I'm going to add a cup of milk. Okay, a cup of milk we're gonna add because you don't want to be your hamburger helper dry okay so we're gonna continue I set my um, oven for 400 degrees and we're gonna bake this for uh, 15 minutes Okay, so this is done. We're gonna start the process. Okay, so I have the uh, baking pan. So first thing first is I'm going to add here. Just like that. We're using a Velveeta cheese. Okay, just put everywhere the Velveeta cheese. Just like that. Okay, then we're gonna add serrated cheese. Like that, and then we add more. Okay, so spread it just like that. Another little bit of cheese. Okay. Remember, guys, we're gonna bake this for 15 minutes, 400 degrees. Our goal is to um, melt and finish the cooking for the noodles. Okay. I'm gonna add more again just cover don't put overlap because of um, it will um, make a mess in your oven a little bit more okay then I'm gonna add some sure did cheese on the top Okay, this is done, and we're gonna bake this for 15 minutes for 400 degrees, okay? Okay. Get this one. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so we're done. We bake it for 15 minutes. There we go. Beautiful brownish color in the top. So just perfect to cook 15 minutes. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up or comments. Again, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to press the bell so you can receive my oncoming videos. Thank you, guys. May God bless you all. Bye-bye.